What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and in this one I'm going to show you how to letterbox some of your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro Creative Cloud 2014. And before we get started I want to show you what version of uh, Creative Cloud that I'm running on. It's 2014.1 version 8.1.0. Um, so without further ado we can go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and drag in some source footage into this project and let's take a look at it. So there are some things wrong with this footage. Now, there's a ton of junk on my desk. And I'm a little off center and I kind of want to spruce this footage up a little bit more. So let's go ahead and grab a little portion. And before we can do any of this, we need to create a sequence. So new, right click and hit new item sequence. Um, this is preset to some stuff that I've already shot before, but I'm going under DSLR 1080 and at 30 frames per second. I'm going to go ahead and call this letterboxing. All right. So now we have a sequence. And I can go ahead and drag this down onto my sequence. And for the duration of this video, I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio that's associated with that footage. Let's take a look at it. So uh, we can do a, a makeshift way by just dragging the video down to where we think is appropriate. You know, cut the class out that's sitting on my desk and that's an awesome face by the way and uh, we can you know drag in a black image or something and just overlay it that's it. but and you can kinda eyeball it but there is an easier way to go about doing that so let's do it that way uh, before we do that though we need a new item so right click and new item and black video uh, go ahead and dump it in there and we can you can you can rename it with some naming conventions and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this letterboxing black video over the top of my source video as you can see you can't see anything because there's black video over the top of it so how do we get this to form letterboxing that is symmetrical I'll tell you how go ahead and go into your effects panel and start typing 8 you won't even need to get through the whole word you can find 8 point garbage mat grab that effect and drop it on top of your black video. So you have these settings. It may be collapsed, so you might have to, you know, expand it and and you have these settings that we can play with. The first thing you're going to want to set in the top left vertex is 127. I found that to work the best. You can play with it a little bit, you know, 130 or whatever, but I'm going to show you how I've done it and you can you can be the judge and play with these settings as needed. The top center tangent we want zero and zero. You can see it's starting to take shape. It'll it'll go away here in a second. The next, uh, the right top vertex, 19, 20, and zero. So leave that alone. And the right center tangent, we want to have 19, 20, and 10, 80. The bottom right vertex, zero and 10, 80. The bottom center tangent, zero and nine. 53, I know that seems a little weird. Uh, the left bottom vertex, we want to have 1920 by 953. You could probably have guessed that. And zero for the left center tangent and 127. Not zero. We want to have 1920 here. Anyways, so there we go. We have some nice letterboxing occurring here. Now, how do I get my video down? Well, we're going to have to make sure that we select our video and we can go into the motion again and start dragging down until we see appropriate. Now there may be a problem that you may see and as you can see this top letter boxing is growing but that's not the case. The, the bottom frame on this is black as is. The thing is is that this source footage the, the capturing scene right here ends right there. So there still is letterboxing right there. We just have to be careful of how we're adding it or how we're positioning this video. So you can see that there is still letterboxing there. Uh, so we're going to drag this down just a little bit and leave it. And there you go. You've accomplished letterboxing. Um, I think that looks fantastic. That face, not so much. Um, especially right there. That looks pretty awesome. Where's another awesome face? Do I got one? Do I got one coming in? Yeah, that's, that, we'll, we'll end it right there. <laughs> that's a pretty awesome face. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, feel free to throw me a thumbs up. Uh, in addition to that, feel free to drop me a comment down below letting me know why or why you didn't like this video. 
and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.